Stevenson with the 3-0 victory tonight over Lebanon Valley in the Mac Commonwealth quarterfinals. Glenn Clark with junior captain Dylan Holy. Dylan, um, you guys suffered a tough one last Wednesday. You had to bounce back to make sure you got into the tournament, and then you had to move forward. How were you able to move on from that, and how much better do you feel about this team now going into the rematch on Wednesday? Yeah, I mean, we know we didn't give our best performance last Wednesday at Messiah. And right when we got on the bus, it was just forget about that game. Work to get in the playoffs. You know, we had to win at Arcadia Saturday, so that was a big game, and it was awesome to go there and get the result. And then we wanted to come here, get the win, and get a chance to go back to Messiah and you know, prove that last Wednesday was a fluke. They're not seven years better than us. And we know we can give them a better game than that. Hopefully, we'll be able to prove that on Wednesday. Dylan, we're just chatting with Coach about how this program has changed, and and from where you guys were when he took over to where you are now, and having the opportunity to get to that Commonwealth Championship game. Can you tell me a little about having been here for the entire time? What it's taken from the entire program to get to this point? Yeah, I mean, even coming in freshman year, I know we went like we had like three wins or whatever it was. We didn't have a great year, but we felt we were better than that. And obviously, we were a really young team. A lot of guys from my class have been starting and getting a lot of minutes, so it was our first experience in college, and we learned so much from that year. And now, you know, the last two years, we've really been able to turn it around two 10 win seasons in a row, two years in a row, go to the American semifinal. And obviously, you know, you get two cracks on the side. You, you have to beat in this conference to get to that scrubble tournament every year. You're consistently number one team in the country. So it's just awesome. You know, we all believe in coach. We all believe in what we do. It's just awesome to see this turnaround in such a short time. All right, because you're out here in short, so just keep this to one more. There's uh, there's something that when we think of Dylan Holden, we always think of those long throws into the box. Um, when did that come along for you in your game, and how much pride do you have in, on really that coming? You know, that turned into a, a header, a shot on yeah. goal tonight. How much pride do you have in that being such a weapon for this team? Um, yeah, I mean, the last couple of years we've had other guys that have been able to do a long throw, like last year we had Evan Joseph, who anywhere past half field. I mean, he's given the ball in the box; it was unreal. And this year we didn't have him. He uh, went back to basketball. And coach at the beginning of the season was like, if anybody has a long throw, step up. And with Chris coming in, like. He's a guy that can win the header of the box, so it's not as important for me to be in there. And I know that I throw it pretty far, so it's just good to you know have another chance to get the ball in the box. And anytime you can get in the box, get in the mix to score a goal, it's better than you know to take it a short and pass it. It turned into the game winner against Lebanon Valley in the regular season yeah, exactly. too, so it's worked out really well. Well, Dylan, congratulations. Go get him on Wednesday night. Thanks for taking the time for us. Thank you. I appreciate it. He's Dylan Holy. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.